All right, so here we go, video with one hand. So I'm gonna talk about the mirrors and some people talking about can't get any clip. So this is a hook, this is at the top. See the mirror? So let me just show you. So this is at the top. You hook this on and then you got these two spring clips. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that happens right off the bat. These clips, because they're not stainless or whatever, what happens is they get some oxidation on them. And if you notice, if you take your mirrors off all the time like I do, they start to get spread. So if you take these two screws out, you can take this out, take a pair of needle nose pliers and get them straightened out. I would also take some 600 wet o dry and clean the oxidation off. Then, so now I'm gonna go back to the bike. So then, this front clip, when you put it on, is always the hardest to get on. So one second. What I do is I put a little bit of grease on the tips of the pins because when that when those these clips, these two rods, these two rods right here actually lock behind the pin, uh grease is not going to cause it to pop off because, you know, these are rounded and this is flat. Get the idea? So same thing up front. Now, I can't do this with three hands, but putting the mirror back on uh, you can always, almost always get this bottom snap, but the front one is hard and I can't do it with, since I don't have three hands, but what I do is I tap it on. It'll almost always lock this, this front one. If your mirrors are shaking, it's almost always this front one that doesn't get locked down. You, you really do have to use some force and kind of pop it on there. But let me just say. If these spring clips are bent in, bent downward, then it makes it harder. Each time you take the mirror on and off, these clips can get, these pins can get deformed or rods. And so it's not just about how close they are, it's also if they're bent in a little. If they're bent down in a little from popping on the mirror, then it gets harder for them to lock behind this step. Got it? So. What I usually do is after removing these about five or six times is I'll unscrew these screws and I'll straighten those pins back out, I'll take some 600 wet o dry sandpaper and get them all unoxidized again because they do get a little draggy. And then just a little bit of grease, just a little bit on the tips of the pins and bang, bang, and it goes right back on. Okay? Finless tip of the week.